Hello friends, this is Vikram and I am back with another video series which will be basically on the Spring Boot. So we will start with how we can uh, create our first Spring Boot application. Then we will have more uh, work on that. And then finally, I'll be trying to show that how we can be able to create the GKE cluster. Okay. And once our GKE cluster is ready, how we are going to create the images of our applications, what we have deployed uh, and run into my local machine. Okay. Once we will create the image using the Docker, we will push that image to the Google Cloud container registry. And from there, we will try to run that application into the Kubernetes cluster. So stay tuned uh, for this video series where I am going to develop this kind of the videos. So for more videos related to this Spring Boot, Kubernetes, Google Cloud, please subscribe my channel. Okay. So we'll start with my first Spring Boot application. So from where we are going to start. Okay. So to start with the Spring Boot application, how we are going to create the application that we are going to show. So any Spring Boot application, if you want to create, you can just make use of this URL, springstarter.io. Okay, this is the official uh, website from the Spring Boot people. Okay, now if you hit this URL, start Spring Boot, uh, spring.io, you will be able to redirect it to this page. Okay, over here you can find lot of the options over here. Okay and then you can see this uh, add dependencies once you are having the dependency added you can generate the project here and then finally that project you can be able to explore it into the any of your favorite id like eclipse or intellij id okay and then you can be able to try it okay so in my case the project i will be making use with the maven okay I'll create some videos uh, which will be talking with the, some example on the Groovy as well. But initially, I'll start with the Java as the language and then Maven as the building tool. Okay. So here you can see a Spring Boot. Here, a lot of the options is available. Which one you can try? So you can start with anyone. Okay. And uh, if you wish, you can go with the 2.7 version or 3.0 version. Okay. So I'll start with the 2.7, okay? And what next thing you have to do over here? So in this one, you need to provide the group ID. Group ID is nothing but your packages. So you can uh, provide the group ID like I'm creating learning dot data age. This is the group ID I'm trying to make huge okay and in this artifact id basically it will be your project name what you are going to develop okay so i will call this application as the first spring boot okay so project name i am telling this as the first spring boot and the group id is the learning dot data age you can provide the description as well over here. So I'm not going to choose uh, this option to provide the description. These are the optionals. Package name, you can see it is uh, getting developed like this one. Now, how the packaging of your application will be done. So by default, it, it is jar. You can leave as it is. Which Java versions you are going to make use for developing your project. So again, it depends upon your machine, what the Java you have installed. You can generate the code of this Spring Boot according to your versions. So I'll be trying with the Java 8 only as it is my first applications on the Spring Boot. I have chosen the lower version of the Spring Boot that is the 2.7.10. So I'll go with the Java 8. Okay. I'll not go for the higher versions. In later applications, we will go for the higher version of the Java. Now here, what actually the dependency you have to add over here to generate your project? Okay, so if you click on this one, if, first of all, you need to add this Spring Boot Dev tool. Okay, the descriptions you can see over here. Okay, 
so without thinking on that you can add this one okay second thing i will be making use of this lombok this lombok is again one of the dependency which will generate setter getter constructor okay so different uh, methods so for this if we are choosing this lombok we have to simply write the annotations and it will generate the setter and getter no need to write it into our code okay so i'll choose this next what options we need to choose so as i told that we are basically creating the spring web applications so i'll be choosing this spring web as well okay now i'll be trying to add some of the more dependency for checking the health of our application it's optional at this point but i can be able to use okay so that is known as actuator it is basically to provide you the ops related features okay you can see here and it will provide you the health matrices and other things so i'll be trying to import from the beginning itself whether we are uh, directly using this or not but we will try to make use of this one okay and next thing i'll be trying to make use of the jpa that is the spring data jpa when we are going to connect with the different applications using the orm frameworks and uh, databases so these are the minimum dependency which i'll be making use now what you have to do you want to explore how the project is getting created so you can explore from here this is the form which is going to be generated if you don't want you can simply close it okay and you can click on this generate this will generate one spring boot application for you which you can download and then you can unzip and import into the intellij id so that's all for now i'll be creating the new application on my next video so let me click on this generate this project i will be making use into my new video okay next video so thank you thank you for your support stay tuned thank